Hello and welcome back to episode 36 of my Let's Play the Grand County of Sterling campaign. Last episode, we destroyed Count em Free armies of Sylvania. In this episode, we hope to finally finish them off in time so we can take out Hornell, or take back Hornell from Duva Fred Skill, and also take back Waldenhof and its. from its many marauder inhabitants at the moment. So Mighty now we just we just wait and every turn. Our cause is just. These lands are at your service. Wait for more money to pour in. Wait for more troops to be trained, buildings to be built, and battles to be won. Uh, they're attacking me. I might do the spell. I also have another family member, so now. Uh, what's their general? Vampire. They got, they got Calvary General. Hmm. You know what? I'll do it. With bitter bloodshed, we will earn victory! After this battle is done, we can probably. We're gonna have to press the advantage. I'll we'll call up some troops from Wartbad and Essashadin. Try and finally finish off the Sylvanians. Because I believe. We're, like, we're not going to lose all of our troops, but we are going to lose a great deal of them in this battle. Even with the advantage on our side this time. So, and since they're attacking us, we get to choose where we really want to hang out. I don't suffer too greatly at the hands of their archers this time. Don't have to worry about them bringing in reinforcements. We're just gonna hold our ground and wait. We have our archers so. I think we outrange most of our archers, but still, that's gonna. Once they get moving, like, they're gonna destroy my. Like, the halberdiers and spearmen and swordsmen and all that. Shooting yet? Does not appear to be the case. He's gonna get some really good hits now if you just open fire. They're all packed in together. There we go. That looks looking better. Can spread all they want, they're all still too closely bunched together for it to make a difference. I just wish that they would fire more uniformly. How do you hit the exact center? Some good ballers coming back and forth between the two sides. Hopefully most of the good ones are from us to them though. I mean we're taking casualties, it's to be expected. But I think we're dishing out more so than Robert Gavin. I think it's gonna register very loudly. It'd be interesting to do a civilian, uh, Sylvania. I can't even say my mispronunciation right the second time. Sylvanian campaign with only Empire troops and, like, the vampires. That'd be rather interesting. So rather than relying on, say, skeletons, rely on humans. Now we 
भी वही As long as the archers take the casualties and deal most of the damage, it's pretty good because after the, like, not after the battle, but after the animation, they're gonna be that much of use to us in terms of good melee troops. So as long as they spare, say, the Scarlet Guard, any sort of attention from arrows, then they've done their job. They're keeping back some of the guys. Reserve. Couple of free company, free company, empire, and free company. Oh, so you have all the humans up front. Interesting. I guess the Sylvanian AI views humans as more expendable than skeletons. We can't actually get that close because they're on archers. Like, whatever they have left, the skeleton archers will just mow us down. Might be able to bait them forward by sending a single unit. I know they won't break. The Count Henry's morale boost, whatever benefits are too good. Yeah, archers are just pretty much our expendable units. Once they're out of ammunition, we just send them forward in lines. They're just trying to waste as many enemy heroes as possible. bunched up like this. One little shot right in here will just destroy so many. As this just drain them of their arrows will be set to win. Oh I do have zombies. I keep forgetting that. I thought I was all skeleton warriors or something. the best way to force them out. And like Empire archers can be recruited from pretty much anywhere, so it doesn't matter too much if we lose There we go. Looks like they might be starting to come forward a bit. 
around it so they broke. Ah. Looks like a little rave party going on down here. forward because that would be under the range of our archers, but they're not going to move forward either because I guess that's the way they want it. Looks like some of them are out of ammunition though, which is nice to see. So we really should not be trying to sponge up all this damage, it's just that. <clears throat> Doesn't seem to be much of a choice at the moment. I'm gonna start attacking the melee, let's see what we can do. be able to lure very general out and just like what we do with chaos is just attack them with guns until they're dead and don't let them get it in range. It might work. Just because no, we're not having an issue yet. They're calling back most of our archers. <sighs> well, these arms are almost dealt with. Yep, 
Here comes the other Archer Barrage. <sighs> First got to just sit there and take up. Most frequently, I just do quite a lot of damage to armor for some reason. Oh, this is not gonna be. Good, we're, we're taking quite a lot of losses before we even engage us in the melee. I just hope that the fact that we're not skeletons will help us out. And give us we are being attacked. Make us last longer in contact. I mean, they, they leave most of their archers behind without protection. That's fine by me. Looks like they're already starting to break. Just charge right through my hobbit or something. Getting caught by the crossbow at some point, do not want that to happen. Wait, what? Oh, I thought that was a skeleton for a second, I was routing. I was like, that's not possible. Yeah, you can help out against the graveyard. Ooh, we're taking the heavy casualties from Archer Fire. So. That was a pretty good charge. There are no get out of there, or else you're gonna be destroyed. rubber band is across the place. I think the Scarlet Guard are doing a decent job against the enemy. It's always good to see. Archers are still a fair distance away, so they would have plenty of time to volley upon us if we we're trying to attack them. Oh, it's 
always interesting. I like how they name each regiment so you know where we're from in the Empire. I got a unit from Hornow. I got some from Eshershaden. Most of them are from Eshershaden. Work bad. It's interesting how this, this unit has survived since Hornow and it might just die now. So many archers. What are they? What's shooting me now? Oh. Oh, it's crossbows. Not very much in the way of bodyguard. I think we're destroying that group of skeleton warriors. Zambies. Graveguard are almost gone. Skeleton spears are almost gone. I don't think the worry about is their damn crossbows destroying my general. Our general is pretty much on his last night, so if he charges against the cavalry, or against my spears again, he's pretty much finished. You guys can attack them. Oh, look at the breakneck speed of that charge. <coughs> Here, look, you guys just to finish him off once and for all. Have a charge at the very end. He's pretty much finished. Now we can work on our way to destroying this most of our archers. I'm going to take some time to recover after this battle. As I said, we're going to need to call upon reserves from Workbad and Ishashavan. Because we, we cannot afford to let them like, reinforce the army. Okay, so we got, we're being chased off. Probably get the general charging by these zombies. Make sure they're actually gonna die. Looks like the regiment from Hornow is gonna survive the battle. It's nice to see. If we're going to lose on this, it's going to be one of the Oh, the skeletons abandoned at the tip of the map. Uh, let's see what's going on over there. You can just, uh, you're taking the sh You shouldn't be just taking fire from them like that. Unfortunately, we have the rest of the general take up those guys. There we go. Never easy win. In the sense that it was only easy because of troop quality. Oh. 
apologies for my lack of energy. It's just the last two battles have been a bit taxing on my mental resources it's simply because I'm not used to doing such types of battles. Oh. I'm used to just one click, you run over the enemy army, that's it. You're done. Congratulations, you won the battle. Would you like to ransom the prisoners? Sort of thing. But no, this is fights to the end, yet there's a lot of strategy. Make sure you don't waste your troops like I did with those archers. You know, it didn't. Like, it was unnecessary losses in the end, it seemed. Death stocks the land. We're bad. Ah. <sighs> I'm going to leave this episode here. Leave a like, comment if you're feeling generous, a subscription, and I shall see all of you in the next episode.